Hey everyone, it's Maya, welcome. So today I will be demonstrating how I achieved these super cute, super chill, and super comfortable jumbo knotless braids. But first, as you can see, the parting is not perfect. It never is when you're braiding your own hair. So keep all your negativity, all your negative comments on that side. We don't want them over here. Thank you. <laughs> So here I have my last braiding section pre-parted and separated into three parts. And I am beginning the braid on my own hair without adding in any braiding hair. Then I'm going to just braid one full rotation then add in my first piece of hair. Pretty much how you would do like a feed-in braid but it's off the scalp so like a 3D feed-in braid if you will. <laughs> So I'm just going to braid another rotation and add in another piece of hair. And then repeat rotating and adding one more time. Now I'm just going to continue the braid on down the length of the braid until I reach the end. Oh yeah, and I completely forgot to mention to you guys what um, styling products I've used. So I only use one product and that is the Ampro Shine and Jam mixed with the Murray's Edge Wax. This mix is everything. I got it from another stylist in my shop and like, I probably won't use anything else for a little while until I find something just that's just super good. But um, also, my hair was blown out and flat iron previous to the style, so that also contributed to the um, sleekness of this. So I mean, the mix ain't that good, but <laughs> it's still really good. But um, yeah, you don't have to have it blown out and flat iron, but that does help to make everything really sleek. So I'm just going to continue braiding and braiding and braiding and braiding and braiding. It seems like that last braid always takes the longest. Like this video if you get super excited when you reach the end of braiding your own hair. Or braiding a client's hair. <laughs> And personally, I like to braid my hair all the way down to the end until I can't braid anymore. To me, it looks a lot more tapered and neat at the ends. So, yeah. That's just a little tippy tip. <laughs> so, now that I'm finally finished, I'm going to dip my hair off camera. And I am back from dipping. <laughs> And y'all, please excuse how I'm chewing this gum. I'm still getting used to functioning with braces. So chewing gum is the absolute worst for me. So y'all, just, just bear with me, okay? <laughs> Don't judge me. So yeah, I just inspected the ends to make sure there's not anything I need to trim. And here I'm getting ready to seal everything in with my Jane Carter Solutions Wrap and Roll Mousse. And then my oldie but goodie pump it up spritz. So I'm just depositing and distributing the mousse all over the areas where I get the most flyaways. And just sloshing that all over my head. <laughs> and chomping away on my gum. <laughs> so I'm just gonna deposit a little bit more on my hair. Normally on a client, I would like spread it out, like down my braid a little bit more, but it's really hard to pump out of that bottle. So I just did the like the bare minimum, the, the most essential parts that I need done. I put mousse on those. And then I'm gonna spray some of my spritz. 
and it looks like I'm spraying a lot and if you've used pump it up you already know how like crunchy it and hard it gets but it didn't get I think it was the um that Ampro sleek and shine that provided like a barrier so it won't get like hard and crunchy so that was that was a really good thing to add underneath the spritz which if you're using a gel or a spritz or anything like that you should always put some kind of oil based product underneath it anyway so yeah so here you see me just putting on my styling strips just to make sure everything is nice and sleek so I'm gonna go under the dryer again well not again I actually haven't gone under the dryer yet <laughs> I'm just gonna go under the dryer and y'all see me struggling with the styling strip but it's going um I should have like like put it up under my um braids but whatever it's all good so now I'm in the dryer And here's a close-up of the finished product. And as you can see, the braids look as if they are coming out of my scalp. And this makes for a very natural overall look. And they're not so tight that you have to wait weeks before putting them up in a ponytail. You can actually leave the shop with one if you want. So here I am modeling my new jumbo knotless braids. So look at these edges. Thanks to that sleek and shine. They are so sleek and shiny. <laughs> no pun intended. watching to contact me for business needs or any natural braiding services you can add me on any of my social media under Maya 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 and my personal Facebook at Maya Marie so once again thank you so much for watching once again don't forget to comment like and subscribe as well as click the notification bell to be notified of all of my new posts thank you bye